हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम हेना तलाटी वेलकम टू इट्स टुमारो न्यूज रिकॉर्ड सेटिंग ऑनटोरियस स्टॉम ड्रॉप्स मोर देन अ मीटर ऑफ द स्नो क्लाइमेट चेंज कुड इंटेंसिफाई लेक इफेक्ट स्टॉम्स लाइक द वन दैट डम्प्ड अ रिकॉर्ड सेटिंग अमाउंट ऑफ स्नो ऑन सम कम्युनिटीज इन द सदर्न ऑनटोरियो इन कैनेडा दिस वीकेंड एंड एनवायरमेंट कैनेडा मीटरोलॉजिस्ट सेड ऑन मंडे More than a meter of the snow blanketed parts of the Bruce Peninsula as Arctic air descended over the Great Lakes and picked up warmth and moisture of the unfrozen waters in what's called a lake effect snow event. A key marker of the storm's intensity is the temperature difference between the lake and Arctic air. If lakes stay warmer longer into the fall, the first big outbreak of the Arctic air could produce stronger snow squalls, said the warning preparedness meteorologist with the Environment Canada. This is certainly something that could be possible over the course of the coming decades with the warmer summers and warmer falls resulting in warmer lake temperatures. About 53 cm of the snow fell in Weyarden on Sunday alone, breaking area's single day snowfall record that has stood since 1982. Environment Canada is warning that the areas around the Niagara and Kingston could also see strong winds after enduring the weekend snowstorms. Southwesterly winds will strengthen early this afternoon with the wind gust up to 80 km per hour possible. especially near the lake ontario winds will begin to ease this evening environment canada noted aside from the winds the agency says the forecast looks relatively quiet over the next few days it is expected most streets to be cleared by the end of the day as the snow plows work through the emergency routes and major through phase to secondary and back streets The National Weather Service recorded 196 cm by Saturday in Orchard Park home to the NFL's Buffalo Bills and 183 cm in the Natural Bridge a hamlet near the water town of the eastern end of the Lake Ontario. More snow fell overnight Sunday in some areas but it stopped by daybreak Monday. The snowstorm was at least the worst in New York state since November 2014 when some communities south of the Buffalo were hit by the 7 ft of snow over the course of 3 days. Meanwhile, Toronto completely dodged heavy snow accumulation over the weekend. In fact, the city is expected to see above average temperatures this week with added sunshine. The warm-up will begin on tuesday with a projected high of 4 degree celsius that will increase to an expected high of 6 degree celsius on wednesday and a high as 7 degree celsius on saturday that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news for more global weather updates like this subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates